Hello, Zello. Hello from LA. We do a little tailgate chat. I discovered my love for tailgating. You know, we go to pizza places, we go to coffee places, and we just tailgate. It's the best. First of all, I'm really sorry for letting you down the last two weeks. Number one, guys, big things are coming. You will not believe. You will not believe what we're working on. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so yeah. A lot has happened. I'm gonna update you on everything. But uh, also, then I got sick. And I just wanna talk about things that keep me up at night. And one big thing that keeps me up at night, Taylor Swift released her album. And I know it sounds so cliche because people love to hate on Swifties. And like, I get it. Like, I get all the perspectives, all the sides. But I really, really, really think that in order to like get her, you have to spend so much time on her and like so much time to, you know, understand these little things that she does, like all these little signs and messages, etc. And I really love how she, everything she does is really for her fans. And like once you're in that world, and I am, like uh, going for a savage hunt, is that how you call it? You know, you're like, you keep looking, everything has meaning, every, like every sign, like everything, it's wild. Anyway, so what what I wanted to talk about is Taylor Swift is literally the most successful artist like ever. I mean technically not really but she's one of the most successful artists and she's breaking records. I just saw a TikTok where one person was like when an album is released on the release day like the biggest the record and it was her record I think it was the Midnight's album and it was like 180 million streams. The new album had 360 million streams. So not only nobody else broke ever that record of 200 million, she literally reached over 300 million, which is like mind blowing. So I'm just wondering, what is it like to have a human experience as Taylor Swift? And by the way, we're doing a little round where I just give you my random thoughts and you need to give me your thoughts on that because I'm generally curious what people are thinking about the things that I'm talking about. Um, so I'm wondering, what is her human experience like? Like if you're this brilliant and you're this adored and you're this powerful, like the power this woman single-handedly has, what is it like? How do you even get upset? You know what I mean? Like people can't really touch you. I mean, obviously she gets upset, like otherwise we wouldn't have her music, but you're so powerful like can you have conversations with people like how do you even interact with people if everybody thinks like you're so godlike and maybe she meets people who don't think that and is she glad that people treat her as a normal human being or is she so self-aware of her like greatness you know i was wondering does taylor swift ever lay in bed at home and like scroll social media like does she do that or i wonder if she's like ever messy or like in my head she's just so godlike that I cannot imagine what it's like to have a human experience. What does she talk about with her mom? Like, I would love to know. What does her WhatsApp look like or her iMessage? I would love to know. How does she talk about business deals? I hope one day she's gonna <coughs> publish a memoir that's like a tell-all and she's gonna tell everything about her life and everything she does. And I think about this every day. This is my Roman Empire. Okay, Jürgen, your turn. I just wanna get your point of view <laughs> and your experience. What it's like to hang out with billionaires. <laughs> so. Hanging out with billionaires is very, very special because obviously they live in a completely different, I mean, they live in the same world, but also they don't. Because obviously everything is affordable for them, like no limits. It's a completely different setup, but still they speak about budgets. But like on a different level. <laughs> and obviously that's like a completely different budget than my budget. So yeah, it's just very, very interesting <laughs> to be around them and hearing them speaking about budgets. Because if I speak about a budget, I'm like, a couple of hundred euros or a thousand maybe if it's like a really important thing but their budget it's probably <laughs> a number that i cannot even imagine that's actually crazy that at the end of the day their experience is not so different from everyone else's like they also have to think okay like how do i want to spend my endless money <laughs> wisely and how do i stay in budget and uh, don't overspend can you overspend an infinite amount of money Probably. Apart from that, super nice people. <laughs> <laughs> if you can, surround yourself with billionaires for sure. They take care of their guests. It's like, it's beautiful. Okay, speaking of human experience, you know, I had this realization lately that, and I read it somewhere, obviously I cannot take credit for it. And it's probably so obvious, but like your human experience is made of 100% by what you focus on. And you can decide to focus on anything you want. 
So you can walk around live and be like, hmm. Like you can try to find negative things that you don't like. Like, ooh, it's overcast and ooh, it's cold and ooh, there's so much traffic and people are ruining my great shot. Like what the hell, bro? Bro. And that's like one way to live life, right? And I think that what's really interesting is that you can choose what to focus on. And that's something, again, it's so basic, but it was so powerful for me because I got upset about a situation, right? Like I felt so upset about the situation in my life. I was very disappointed and I didn't know how to like handle it. And I was like, oh, I feel so used and I feel so this and that. And then I realized that I choose to focus on that. And I choose on that feeling of being disappointed or feeling used. And then I realized that I can focus on this or I can focus on building my dreams. And that just changed my life. I was like, what i think sometimes we get in this like <laughs> mood or vibe where we just we do things that we're just so used to doing like you know you wake up you have your routine and by routine i mean like you brush your teeth you may have coffee and then you go to work like you know you you get in that flow of your routine but between all these like little moments in your life you have room to change your focus <laughs> Jürgen, when you hear me speak about this, do you feel like, oh, that's so ominous? Or are you like, wow, this is my boy? I think it's a little bit of both. It's like, <laughs> uh, it's so obvious, but sometimes you need a reminder. I think it's the same with some of those books, self-development books. I just want to add that it's especially when it comes to problems, you know? I feel like especially when it's about problems. <laughs> Like it's so easy to focus on problems. That's maybe my bigger point, that it's so easy to focus on what's going wrong, and like what's bad, and you will always find something if that's what you focus on. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You need those reminders of the obvious things to appreciate them again on a daily basis. Which Hallmark quote was that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like, uh, I was just so wise what you just said. So I think it was really, really good. You made yeah. a great point. Yeah. I tell you all the time to not focus on the bad. Yeah, and it's good to have like someone around you that reminds you to not focus on the on the wrong things. Speaking of, so I I just did my vision board yesterday. And for actually the first time in your life. I just wanted to say it's the first vision board I ever created and it's actually really fun. It took me a little bit to get into it. I had as you guys know like one of the best teachers. She was really guiding me not in the vision board itself but before we started exercise. So it's really Can I, can I just say something? Of course. I was journaling like I was journaling during the process and Jürgen every 2 minutes he's like look 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 and I'm like okay cool. And I continue journaling because when I'm journaling I am like in my flow and like I need to focus and you were always like <laughs> yeah because I was so happy <laughs> to show my my findings like a mother <laughs> first time a child <laughs> first time Pinterest actually <laughs> so before I started Xenia was like okay it's not so much about the images but first of all you have to make sure you know how you want to feel it's so, all about the feelings exactly it's all about it so I went off of that and I just realized that psychopaths can never have a good vision board because they're not in touch with their feelings, kind of sad. Should, should I tell my feelings? Yeah. No, say the specific thing that was so cool. <laughs> yeah. So, and then I went into finding those images. And I have to say, you have to get into it in a way. The first image is kind of hard because I was like, okay, like, what do I want? I want to be with friends. I want to be around a pool, like, <laughs> good times, this and that. And you find a lot of bullshit images when you put in those kind of things. But then I got stuck on these vintage images from the probably, I don't know, 70s? Is that 70s? 80s. Whatever, yeah. it's vintage. I had this big revelation, which is everything looks so much better when people are well dressed yeah but like properly well dressed like you know a little suit or like a little cool like exactly so people need to put but an also effort in groups exactly it's, it's like this thing where when it's like one or two it's whatever but if you have a group and everybody's like dressed up that's such a vibe it's a bit like this old money aesthetic that's very like popular right now yeah, but, but yours makes... is more cool like it's not old money it's more like just vintage <laughs> yeah and it was stylish and it just looked 
the it, lights. It, yeah, everything is the, immediately the... so much better. Because then I was imagining those pictures with like just people hanging out in a like slouchy t-shirt or something like that. Like, so it's a completely uh, different yeah. vibe. So it yeah, makes a huge difference. And then we went down that path when I was like, hey, see you. <laughs> and we were like, okay, one day when we are at that point that like all those vision boards like our reality i want to invite people and i will prepare their wardrobe <laughs> that sounds like no our, but we like our, you, our you know, friends cannot dress by themselves no but you know i'm always invited to like influencer trips and like when i arrive and then there's a wardrobe full of stuff and it's so cool and like we want to have this for our friends you know like we invite them somewhere and, and there's a dressing suite and we don't say anything Oh yeah, we're dressing suite. <laughs> you can make an appointment. <laughs> With like a tailor. Yeah, exactly. For no, alterations. We dream of that, of like providing that like influencer experience for, <laughs> for our friends and just like dress them all up and like and I they think have to tag us, of one course. of <laughs> <laughs> I think one of our goals, like big life goals, is that we want to throw parties. Yeah. Like we want to throw iconic parties. And not in terms of like crazy parties where you like, I mean, whatever, but more in terms of like themed, cool, like, you know, one is in a forest, the other one is by, I don't know, in the mountains. Another one is in Tuscany, you know, like that's our dream. And you're gonna be the head of dressing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I posted this thing about like hot air. And like, you know, people who like talk, 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 talk. And the response on Instagram was just so insane. Like I got so many messages, like you guys loved it. And then I really realized how much it resonated. And listen, every time I call things out, I call myself out. Because the only reason why I know this is because I myself, I think in the past, sometimes I was very loud about things that were like in the making and they weren't finalized yet. And I think that's also why I learned to be quiet about my moves, like my moves are so strategic and like if you see me like not being super active on social media beware that's when i'm doing all the background work and sometimes i'm like i wish i could share more because i think it's also interesting to see like what's going on what's going on but i really learned it's so smart to move in silence and to let success make the noise and that's something i talked about and then i thought back and i realized that a lot of the people and they make themselves so because it's so easy to make yourself big on social media it's so easy to take something small and create this big thing that's what i'm saying when like people say oh i have a campaign but it's just like an instagram photo and etc but like one thing that I want people to take away is that you can never trust pe what's going on on social media. Like that's really a learning that I had to do because it's so important for me to be honest about things that I assume that other people are also honest about things. And what I've learned is that a lot of people are not honest and it always blows my mind. Like even when it comes to like numbers, like I get it, like it's okay to like round. Like let's say we talk about numbers and you are like a 97 out of 100 and you say that you are 100. You know, like that, that I get. But the amount of times I learned people lied about numbers just blew my mind. And one thing that made me think of that was when I was reviewing the Forbes candidates. You know, I was a judge on Forbes and I was reviewing candidates and so many numbers were so impressive but then some numbers that I've read I'm like it's just not true Forbes is actually a great example because I remember when they asked me about my numbers you know I'm so German I'm like let's rather say less because they're gonna check my files they're gonna check all the documents like let's be so safe and I named a number that was much lower than what we ended up doing that year because I just wanted to be safe like in, in case they check I want to be clean and then first of all they never check your numbers so people can write anything like anything and there are a zillion examples and that's why i just want to remind people that don't believe anything you see on social media like it's fucking insane and it goes back to my focus thing sometimes i see something and on social media and i'm like wow this is crazy like wow that's so impressive and then i remind myself there's a high chance it's not real and then i remind myself to focus back on my vision and my goals and that is very powerful because i feel like again with social media it's so easy to get caught up in other people's success and like yes there are successful people and yes there's people who don't lie about numbers this is like a very general 
take. I mean, I could talk an hour about this, but what I'm saying for you, be critical about everything you see and then focus on yourself. Like the energy you put into looking at other people, you can also put into like looking at yourself and, and focus on your goals. I actually said this to you, Jürgen. Jürgen was like looking at something. I'm like, Jürgen, that energy that you currently put into this, you could use to put into you, right? I don't remember this. <laughs> Liar. You're full of hot air. <laughs> What's up? So we are in LA right now and we really love LA, especially palm trees and then everything here is just so amazing. No, I'm just kidding. But it always comes back to New York is the best city in the freaking world. Like for so many reasons, like you can just walk out and you're in the middle of everything like you don't need a car you can just go to a coffee place it will be crowded you will be bumping into someone that you know or you meet cool new people and that's just so cool and in LA for example it's just a little bit different like you don't really walk around you you're in your car you can meet new people you can also meet cool new people but it's all a little bit more you need an infrastructure and I think that's so great about New York is you can just find someone new anywhere <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't know. I love LA, okay? I love it here. Every time I'm here, I'm like, God, I miss New York. I'm so excited when I go back. First of all, so many friends are there. They come to visit. So one of our best friends or like my best friend is going to visit, which like I'm freaking out of excitement. I'm so excited about like stepping out in the morning. You know, city is still asleep. I'm getting my coffee. Oh. Oh. That was also on my vision board, by the way. Yeah? Getting, getting coffee. Getting coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Just in general. Can be anywhere. I love that. We love coffee. So I'm so excited about that coffee walk. And then da -da -da, work, 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 work. And then in the afternoon, after we finish like all of our work on like a lot of it we just go to another coffee place and then we hang out with friends and we just like talk about nothing that's like a freaking luxury it's a luxury to do that like hanging out hanging out is a freaking luxury and then you have dinners with friends and it's fun and exciting oh i love new york i love my bed in new york i love my apartment in new york I love the weather in New York. I love going to the supermarket in New York. There's just so many things I love about New York and I'm so, so excited. Um, yeah, I mean, wow, that was so random. One thing about me is I will make a random video. I, I made a random video. I'm sorry, guys. That's just how I roll. I am so random and I'm sorry if this didn't provide entertainment value, um, but <laughs> Just let me know what you want to see in the comments. Yeah, let me know what you enjoy watching the most because you know, sometimes it's it's hard keeping up with all the platforms and everything next to like so many full-time jobs. Oh my God, just kidding. Um, but yeah, I, I've missed you and I hope to see you soon. <gasps>